Okay, great to connect with everyone. Thank you so much for joining our webinar today. I'm really excited to share more about you, share more with you about how Eureka is helping to augment the future of field work, as well as some of the trends in the industry. So let's hop right in and I'll go ahead and introduce myself. I'm Calliope Vlastos and I'm the Area Vice President of Sales for Eureka. Uh, I've been in the field service space for about a decade now, previously working for another company that was helping to automate work and very excited to have made the transition here to Eureka with some of our very forward thinking team and technology, which I'm going to share more with everyone here today. Um, I'll just start by saying if you have any questions, please use the Q&A that you see on your screen. There is also a chat, but um, please leverage the Q&A section for questions specifically. And with that, let's dive right into kind of the topic of conversation here today, which is, you know, how are we augmenting the future of field work? And in order to talk about that, we really need to start with some of the challenges that we are experiencing um, across many different industries here in the US and globally today. And so the, the core problem that many businesses are facing is talent, right? It's really challenging to hire and recruit new talent. And there's a greater demand for that than ever before, because we have so many baby boomers in particular that are have been retiring over the last decade and that will continue to retire over you know, the next 10 years or so. These workers are incredibly skilled. They're very technical and that experience can be really challenging to come by. And so what we're noticing is that more and more businesses are looking to leverage technology in order to bridge that gap. 70% of organizations say they're going to be burdened by the loss of a retiring workforce over the next few years. Uh, and more than 40% of field service work are going to be performed by non-employee technicians. So the contractor network continues to grow and contractors are not always working on a single brand. They're working on multiple brands across the industry or the vertical or the niche that they serve. So there's a greater and greater need to upskill these workers to do it quickly and to kind of lower the barrier to entry for these really skilled technical jobs. So how do we turn these inexperienced workers into experts overnight? That's the challenge that we are trying to solve for here at Eureka. And um, the way we look at it is we kind of look at the skills gap in a few different ways. So on the y-axis here, we have your technician performance from low to high, as well as your technician experience on the x-axis at the bottom. So really hard to impact technician experience. Um, that is built up over years and years. And the way that you can impact it is to help technicians gain more experience in a shorter amount of time. But where we can really play a large role is on that technician performance. So helping them to be more efficient in their jobs, which will help them to complete more jobs in a shorter period of time, uh, but also to help guide them through the process of performing their work so that they can um, complete the jobs more accurately, more effectively, um, and provide greater service to the clients. We look at this in a few different ways. So we start by digitizing, then proceed to guide and augment the experience so that you've got smarter service and um, happier customers at the end of the day. Many businesses over the last five to 10 years have been focused on that first element, the digitization piece. And so they're leveraging smart forms, um, which may be they're converting their paper-based forms into Excel-based forms. Perhaps they're using a point solution that does one very simple and direct thing for their industry uh, to, to code and to deploy these digital forms so they at least have the data more readily available. The next step is how do we use technology to guide a technician, to guide a field worker through the steps of their job. So that an example I like to use, instead of filling out you know, a form with a hundred different fields, they're presented with a form that only has perhaps 30 fields based on the prior inputs and selections that they've made. So that is really the challenge 
uh, and, and we're seeing a lot of effectiveness and a lot of companies leverage our technology in order to streamline the process so that less experienced technicians can still be just as effective as more experienced ones because they're being shepherded through the process and not faced with as many different options. And the last piece here is one of the ones we're most excited about here at Eureka is once we nail down the digitization, the, the guided procedures element of it, then we can start to do some really cool things with our technology and with some of the technologies that we partner with like Salesforce and Salesforce field service more specifically. So by leveraging machine assisted technology uh, and AI, you can leverage things like sent sentiment analysis, right? Like what is the condition of a piece of equipment and how often is it breaking down? Maybe that impacts the way you're manufacturing a particular part or piece of equipment over time. These are very real use cases of Eureka. 3D visualization, um, next best action. So based on certain inputs or perhaps an overall score of a, a form that's filled out, you wanna take a specific action and that can all be triggered and built directly into the system so that it doesn't require a person to intervene and, um, and think about what that next step is. It can all be handled within the technology itself. Okay, so if we synthesize what we've discussed so far down to a few different elements here, uh, we're going to talk about how you can harvest and share knowledge across the workforce, because once you have the data, you can leverage it and you can share it more readily across many different departments and people within your organization who are going to want to take specific actions based on that information. Number two, closing the skills gap. This is perhaps the greatest need that manufacturing and, and related companies have so far today, as more and more of these employees are retiring. And then consistently elevating that field performance. Even if it is a very skilled technician and you're not facing those same demands around needing to staff and upskill your workforce, how do we ensure that the technicians that you do have are delivering excellent service over time, because that's what matters in terms of customer retention and growth for your organization. So let's do that by introducing Eureka, which is our platform. And Eureka is the number one Salesforce native smart mobile forms application. That's a lot of words to just say, if you have complex needs for capturing data, or you need to do it offline, or you want to introduce a guided procedure so that your employees don't need to necessarily think or deduce what the right steps and fields are to fill out, then Eureka is potentially a great fit for your organization and will provide a lot of value over time. We're in the top 2% of independent software vendors that work with Salesforce and we're a relatively small company. So that's come through a lot of grassroots and word of mouth support for our product and onboarding of our clients and, and growth of our clients on the platform. Uh, and most recently, Salesforce actually made investment into Eureka, um, and we're a portfolio company now of Salesforce Ventures uh, and continue to align our product roadmaps with each other so that we can always ensure um, we are developing what some of the gaps are going to be for Salesforce. Here's a quick look at where we fit into Salesforce field service specifically. So because we're native, we really work on any cloud. So whether that's service cloud, sales cloud, a platform, uh, but where we find our best niche is within Salesforce field service specifically. So field service mobile is going to handle the scheduling, the dispatching, um, some of the reporting all within Salesforce. It's an incredibly powerful tool. And where Eureka is going to extend those capabilities is within those dynamic offline forms capabilities, those guided procedures um, that are really robust. So even if you need to you know, pull in data or view images within the application, you're going to be able to do that in a cached environment offline. And then once you are online, you can go ahead and sync that data back into Salesforce. So everything operates within the ecosystem and all the data is stored within Salesforce as well. So you can, you know, if you're already using the platform, you don't have to go through another security assessment uh, and jump over those hoops to onboard a new technology. Here's how it works. And this GIF, this image is going to show you 
um, how someone would create a form within Eureka. There's no coding necessary, and it all happens directly within Salesforce if you're already on that platform. So very intuitive drag and drop interface that a business user can leverage, which is really important to us, is that someone from IT or a Salesforce administrator or someone with coding capabilities can be involved, but they don't need to. You can have someone um, from the operations team actually create and modify these forms very easily and then publish and deploy them to their end users. Most importantly, you can connect to any object within Salesforce. So if you need to pull in a customer list or a parts list, if you need to you know, pull up a serial number based on a particular part name, you're going to be able to drill down into all of that specificity right within Eureka and also in an offline environment. Here's a bit of a look of what an overview of our product would look like. So first you need to build these form templates and deploy them to your remote field workers, whether they're technicians, whether they're healthcare workers, um, Typically they're on mobile, but it can also work on a desktop platform as well. And we've got many clients for one reason or another are using Eureka on a, on a desktop computer. They can fill in those forms and collect data from anywhere. And then once they sync the data, it goes back into Salesforce where it's connected into your full enterprise environment and can be used for more complex workflow processes. So an example I like to use is right Eureka for generating revenue opportunities is if your technicians are using Eureka and they find that they're going on site to the same client over and over and over again, then it's possible that that client would also be interested in a preventative maintenance package. So that triggers an opportunity for the sales team to then pay a visit to that customer or to call on that customer and say, hey, we've noticed that you've needed quite a few repairs from us over time. Um, we'd like to, you know, you to consider a preventative maintenance package, which can save you cost over time. Here's an example of what some of this guided procedure would look like within the Eureka platform. So like I said, we leverage conditional logic as well as other really sophisticated features, which you can kind of glance through on the left. And on the right would be an example of a scenario that a technician might not be familiar with. This one's a really obvious one, right? Like which of these is acceptable or poor condition, but there's a lot more nuance with really complex technical work that technicians go on site to do or that healthcare people go on site to diagnose. And Eureka can present a few options in a visual manner um, or in text to show them, this is what good looks like. If these symptoms are here, it's likely this diagnosis so that they can, again, be guided through that procedure and only collect data that is relevant. Some of the more advanced capabilities that we have uh, which you can see on the bottom right are those rule-based discovery engines. So you can also build formulas into a form much like you can in Excel uh, that's going to, again, um, help validate the data that your technicians are being entered. So for example, if you don't want them to be able to progress through the form, if something is not within a specific range, you can create that validation and build that right into the form template and again, a business user is going to be able to do that. It doesn't need to be someone who's capable of coding. It's really important to note that Eureka is not a point solution. So what I mean by that is it doesn't just do one specific thing because it's a platform with really broad capabilities. You can start using it for one specific use case. And this happens with many of our clients and over time start to identify Actually, this department could benefit from assessments or this department could leverage checklists to perform their roles better. And so that's why it's really important to consider something that has more broad capabilities as opposed to a point solution, which might solve a short-term problem and very specific. But in a world where companies are looking to um, really streamline their tech stacks, you want a technology that you can do a lot more with um, that you don't need to evaluate 10 different softwares over time, especially because we are native to the Salesforce environment. Um, you don't need to worry about integration as well, which you typically need to do with other point solutions. 
So we'll move on to a few different examples here before we kind of pause and wrap up with questions. Um, so I always like to highlight a safety use case. This is a really popular implementation of Eureka. And it's easy to think about, you know, field workers, there is, um, their jobs don't have life or death on the line, but they often can because in an oil refinery, that's exactly what's at stake. And so Shell, of course, global oil and petroleum company, reached out to Eureka and was interested in leveraging our technology to perform health, safety, and environmental inspections across many of their locations. And what they learned is it's incredibly easy to deploy and to increase that deployment over time across their different locations. But their initial deployment alone um, resulted in a 35% increase in these health, safety, and environmental inspections across their rig locations. Most importantly, because it's such an intuitive platform, there was very little training required. Everyone was you know, pushed the mobile application through a mobile device management system, and it's highly intuitive, log in. It's going to pre-populate some information for you based on what it knows about you as a user. And then you can fill in only the relevant information that again is going to result in a safer environment. This had an incredible impact on the data processing and report wait time, which when people are on remote oil rigs and refineries across the world, it's important to get this information as quickly as possible, especially in the event of any type of safety incidents. We're really proud to be able to report that there have been no safety incidents reported since the deployment of Eureka for this organization. So it had a massive impact. It's incredibly valuable to also be able to promote such a safe environment when it comes to recruiting new employees, as well as you know being an organization that um, lives by certain standards and ethics. So Eureka is really gonna be beneficial in an oil and gas environment, of course, from the safety perspective that we spoke about, but also, over time, these organizations start to roll out um, to other areas of the business and they're heavy, heavy uh, assessment based and inspection based. And so these are very easy to deploy once you've had that initial launch of a, a mobile form application. Let's take another look at an example here is process manufacturing. Um, Procter & Gamble, of course, is a global brand. And again, this organization had really significant impacts with Eureka as well. So um, what it's going to help you to do with an organization in the manufacturing space is leverage not only Salesforce field service, but in this scenario, sales cloud as well. Um, because you've got your technicians that are going on site, but also your sales reps that follow up with a quote. And so that was kind of the harmony that was created by deploying Eureka for Procter & Gamble is the first requirement was that these technicians would go on site and complete site visit inspections before the sales reps could complete the quoting process. And so there were triggers built into Salesforce in order to enable that. And all of that used to be incredibly manual and um, somewhat uncoordinated, but by leveraging technology, both Eureka and Salesforce together, they were able to increase those site visits 200% and to have them happen um, much more quickly than they previously would have because of that coordination. This field service transformation was completed in a four month period, um, which previously was that timeline had been far extended uh, because these technicians could complete these inspections on their mobile devices and not have to shuffle paper back and forth for these complex procedures and inspections. All of this information, because it lives in Salesforce, is immediately accessible to many other members within the organization. Um, so the actual users of the application were about a thousand across the country but the users of that information is far more widespread across the organization because there are so many uh, triggers and processes that happen once those inspections are completed, the quotes can go out and those salespeople can progress those opportunities to a close.
And one more example that I wanted to share here is with um, an organization enterprise called Humana. And Humana had a requirement to conduct detailed health assessments um, for its patients. And they had tried to deploy this a, a number of different ways and with point solutions in the past. And then um, I think after point solution, they tried to do it with some coding within Salesforce. But the inspections changed so frequently, especially if you think about in a COVID environment where we're learning more about COVID every single day, the assessment questions change frequently and therefore the inspection and the audit needs to as well. And so Eureka was able to meet that requirement because of how agile and intuitive the form template builder is. And in addition to that, it really enabled these assessments to be completed much more quickly. There was no more reliance on having connectivity for uh, someone completing the assessment. And most importantly, they were guided through the process. A healthcare assessment can be um, incredibly long, very complex, and have a lot of nuance associated with it. So with Eureka, based on prior selections that are made in the assessment, it's going to limit the number of questions that you see or inform you of what the next question or field that you need to fill in is. So the data is very much guided throughout the process. This lead, led to an increased diagnosis accuracy with the automation built into Eureka because they weren't focused on questions that weren't necessarily relevant. And also all of the required fields were filled in. Of course, with the paper form, you can't require certain information. So when fields are skipped, that can result in a, an incorrect diagnosis. The gaps in care were mapped to care plans within Salesforce Health Cloud to improve preventative care outcomes. So really significant impact for an organization like Humana, where um, it's critical that correct diagnoses are made so that uh, care can continue and it can be um, the best possible care, which is, of course, the mission of any healthcare organization. So again, with organizations that are in healthcare, uh, a lot of times they have their own employees, but if they're also performing home healthcare assessments, they're using a contract network that they may not have the ability to train themselves. So that's a very common use case of Eureka is across extended teams that are not necessarily W-2 employees, but that still have to fill out complex forms and collect complex data. So Eureka is gonna be able to be a big benefit to those types of organizations, whether they're their own employees or a contractor network. And with that, I would invite you all to learn more about Eureka. If you think this might be a fit for your organization or if you're approaching this as a consultant who is interested in learning more for your specific clients, then you can visit us at eureka.io or go ahead and scan this barcode since we're very much used to barcode culture these days. Um, and that will take you to a page where you can submit your information and learn more. So with that, I'm happy to take in any questions that you have about Eureka, either our technology, how it works within Salesforce, um, or any questions about uh, the company as well. So please don't hesitate to drop those in and I'm gonna go ahead and review those in the Q&A. Thanks so much, Calliope. That was amazing, really informative. Um, I think there's a chat or a question coming in around, can you give us a, a few things to listen for when we're speaking with our customers around, um, you know, how to really assess when to bring in Eureka? What are some of the things that they might um, be saying or what we should listen for? Sure, great question. So some of the keywords that we would listen for is assessment, inspection, uh, work order, um, and then of course, any type of offline requirement. Eureka is really the only platform native to Salesforce that is going to be able to fulfill that offline requirement um, for collecting complex data or doing it in a sophisticated way. So if that's um, you know, a significant need for your clients and you know that they're performing assessments remotely, then that's when you should think about giving Eureka a call and seeing how we might be able to support those clients and build out a proof of concept 
Um, so it's very much part of our process is our first conversation is going to be just listening to what your current process is or your client's current process. Um, and we'll be able to pretty quickly deduce if Eureka could be a benefit to them or not. And, and we'll certainly be really transparent in that process. Thanks, super helpful. Great question. Um, any other questions that I can answer for the team? Uh, looks like there's a question about types of devices that Eureka can be used on. So as I mentioned, Eureka is great for mobile data capture. So any type of smart mobile phone, we're going to be able to support. And then we also support a desktop application. Um, we didn't have enough time today to talk about some of the less conventional use cases of Eureka because we're emphasizing Salesforce field service and how we can augment the field service experience. Um, but there's also ways that you can fully integrate Eureka into um, like an intake form or uh, someone inquiring um, about service on your website and have that push all the way through Salesforce into the form that the technician will eventually fill out. Uh, how does Eureka work across multiple clouds? Great question. So Salesforce is fully, or Eureka is fully native to Salesforce. So um, that's the primary cloud that we work within is just Salesforce overall. Um, but because we're native, we can work with sales cloud, with service cloud, um, with platform. It doesn't even really require much explanation. Once you have the Eureka tab enabled, you'll be able to build those forms right within it and pull in any object or field from Salesforce directly into your forms so that it can be filled out in the field. Thanks for your question. Uh, another question about our customer support. So great question. All of our clients who sign on with Eureka are provided with a onboarding package. And that's something that's really important to us is that you have a great onboarding experience. And then beyond the onboarding with um, someone from our onboarding team, you'll have access to a customer success specialist. And that person is your main point person throughout your entire time as a Eureka customer. And they're really responsible for making sure you're always on the current version of Eureka, that you're leveraging features that will benefit your business. And that we're thinking about how we can expand your usage of Eureka into more use cases so that you're maximizing the value of the licenses that you purchase. So it's a, a growing and very dedicated team and their sole job is to just make sure that you're happy with your purchase and that you're um, getting lots of benefit out of the platform. And guys, I think that may, may be all the questions that we have time for today. So thank you so much for all of your questions. Uh, again, please visit eureka.io to learn more and to submit an inquiry uh, to our team. And we'll be happy to connect with you and learn more about your business. Mm -hmm.